and this is Stitchless TV. Now today we're going to talk about how easy really it is to do buttonholes if you can find your buttonhole sewing foot. Now this is our buttonhole sewing foot on the Janome machine. Now with this foot you, it has this sort of adjustable back bit and the reason why it has that is that you're supposed to put the button that you're going to be using into that back bit like that and the idea is it will do a buttonhole that will be exactly the same size as that when you're about to put your um, buttonhole foot on there's a little bar see that bar at the front there well that's where you grab it so just like when you change any other foot and it has to grab the bar it's just the same so I do that drop it down and it grabs the bar now the other thing that you need to do is oh I'm in an awkward position you've got to pull down this so so that lever there stops how far the buttonhole foot goes which controls the size Now the other thing that we need to do is we need to select the buttonhole stitch and in doing that it gives us the range that we'll be working between. So for the zigzag it's between 4 and 6 so I can move the zigzag somewhere between 4 and 6. The stitch length is quite small, this refers to, to tension. Okay, we have two um, wheels at the side and it's the lower one. It's the lower one that's important for changing the, uh, the stitch to buttonhole stitch. And what you have to remember is, each time you do a buttonhole, you have to turn this and reset it again. Otherwise, it seems to just keep going forward. The other important thing is you must stabilise your fabric. I'm just doing it on this strip, but for you, it would be the um, facing on your shirt or whatever. You must iron on or stitch in some sort of interfacing to stabilise that fabric. Now, another sort of secret thing, it's not that big a secret, but you might not know, is you can use tear-away stabiliser as well. And I like to use that sort of as a guide but also um, it helps the buttonhole sort of not bunch up so it just makes the job easier so a tear away stabilizer for the top what you need to know is it starts from the the front and it heads towards the back okay so let's go so this is with the the size of button that I want to use so I'm going to reboot the machine again because I want it to go around again actually my zigzag is a bit a bit big as well right So when you cut up and open your buttonhole, it looks like that. Now, if you want to go around again, reboot it. So it's still quite big, so I'm going to keep adjusting it. It's pretty 